In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually import a contact list into the BRIA 4. So what we're going to do is, and, and I'm going to kind of explain to you what I did to get started. So I'm, I'm trying to get my company directory uh, imported into the system and I, I needed somewhere to start. So what I did is I actually went into BRIA and set up two or three contacts manually, put in all the information that I wanted to have. And then I went up here to contacts and told it to export the contact list. And that gave me a CSV file that had all of the fields in it. And there's a ton of fields, um, there like a ton of fields that, that are, that come out of BRIA. Um, so it's kind of a pain in the butt going through and doing this. I don't know why they don't have an easier way to import contacts. But so what I did is I exported the list. I had a few examples and then I copied and pasted those and modified the fields that I had filled out with the information that I wanted to have in my directory. Um, once I did that, the next step is to actually send the contact directory out to everybody and have them import. And to do that, what you're going to do is again, open Bria, go to contacts, import contacts, and then we're going to be importing a comma separated list. We're going to browse to the phone list that I created. So we're just going to open up the phone list and then the, the really totally ignorant thing about Bria that I just don't even know how to comprehend is that if you tell it to append new contacts to existing contacts, it will actually duplicate all your contacts. So even though they're already in the system, if you import the file in twice, it will actually put all your contacts in twice. So it's too stupid to figure out that they're already in the contact list. And so the only way that you can really do this is to just tell it to import new contacts and erase existing contacts. Um, so what this will do is it will actually go out and, and import. You just tell it to start the import once you do that. And it will go out and uh, bring everybody in and set all the groups and stuff up. Now, uh, future updates will have to have only the new contacts because of the way that they've done this. Um, but we can work around it. It's just kind of stupid that they didn't take the time to see that the things were already there. Um, the other thing that I'm still working on um, is this presence. Um, you actually have the ability to turn on presence where you can see if people are on the phone and stuff, but it doesn't seem to work. So if you if you tell it to subscribe to the presence, um, it, it actually will, it goes out and says a waiting for response and there's no notice on anybody's phone saying that they're supposed to respond to anything. So I'm not real sure exactly what that does yet. That may come in a future video, but uh, right now I just turned this to do not subscribe to presence and to tell it to start the import. And that's going to give you the three groups that I had created with everybody's telephone numbers in it. So pretty easy to, to get everybody imported and, and then you'll have the full contact list for the whole company.